The U.S. is in the midst of a blood shortage right now, and today the Red Cross is hoping you'll help with that crisis. It's teaming up with the family of a woman who passed away after being diagnosed with a rare form of cancer. Orion Henson has more on the blood drive and explains why the help couldn't come at a better time. Ryan. Well, Rennie, we're right now in this country in the midst of the worst blood shortage in over a decade. See, typically hospitals would like to have at least up to 200 liters of blood on hand at any given time. Now they say that's not even a reality. Here's some of the more details about what's going to go on today and how you can help this, pro this problem. So back in 2016, Katie Scott was diagnosed with a rare form of bone cancer. She needed transfusions as part of her treatment. Her friends and family decided a blood drive could help boost morale and her chances at life. Sadly, she passed away in February 2018 at the age of 29, just weeks before the inaugural blood drive. Now her family and friends need the community's help to further her legacy. Each donation can potentially save more than one life. So from 7.30 this morning to 3 this afternoon here at the Drury Inn in Brentwood, there will be a blood drive at 8700 Eager Road. St. Louis isn't the only place collecting blood. There's been blood drives in Kansas City area, Omaha, Nebraska, and Phoenix, Arizona. And they're trying to get a collective pool to help raise blood levels at local hospitals and help people in dire need. We're going to have more coverage on this all morning long. I'm Ryan Henson, 5 on your side. Thank you, Ryan.